Well, a young man turned 18 in Australia and decided to celebrate at the local pub with a toast. Only one problem for our birthday boy, Mr. Cooper Allen. He was refused entry, and not because of his age, mind you, but because of his choice of hairstyle. The bouncer stopped him at the door and notified him it was a mullet-free zone. <laughs> now, I'd think the bouncer would have said, the party's in the back. Did you get that one? <laughs> but I guess, just like the hairstyle, that pub is all business up front. Now, with respect to Brad Pitt, Lionel Richie, and the greatest mullet of all time, Billy Ray Cyrus, most of us believe that the mullet should have remained in the 80s. But Cooper feels otherwise, and it cost him his night out at the pub on his birthday. Hey, uh... Hey, uh, Governor? <laughs> what do you think? Man, I don't know what you're talking about right there. I got myself in there real nice. <laughs> don't tell my heart, my <laughs> achy, breaky, breaky heart. heart. Just don't know the word. You know, we've worked so hard to have an audience back, and we may never get another one back after you guys pull that. I'm Look, liking it. I may not have mentioned this on the show before, but I've got a great idea for a trivia show for people with this hairstyle where they can win a lot of money, but a wrong answer costs them their hair. Oh. I'm going to call the show Mullet Over. Uh, well, during the coronavirus lockdown, city streets were so deserted that there were reports of wild animals wandering in from nearby woods and swamps. Just last week, a young mountain lion was spotted sleeping in a planter box right in the middle of San Francisco. He probably thought, no way am I sleeping on those sidewalks. <laughs> Officials believe the big cat wandered around downtown San Francisco for two days, staring in confusion at his reflection in glass buildings before a cop finally noticed him. I mean, th he was hairy, disoriented, and he defecated in public, Whoa. so he blended right in. <laughs> fortunately, fortunately, animal control was able to capture the cougar and return him to the wild without drugging him. He'd probably stepped on so many drug needles, he was already cat-atonic. <laughs> hmm. Well, now we've all been late for something in our lives, surely, some more than others. But with all the excuses you can think of, was abduction by aliens one of your excuses? Well, former Argentine soccer star, Guillermo Marino, once turned up late to practice and explained it was because he had been abducted by aliens. Ex-teammate Gustavo Lorenzetti has so told us all. Lorenzetti said that Marino, when pressed for details, went on to explain. They take out your soul, analyze it, and all the while on the journey, they're looking after you. Now, while some teammates were willing to buy it, no one was sure if their coach ever believed that. Hey, Gov, uh, yeah. speaking of, have you ever heard the one about the flying spaceship? Hmm, no. Never mind, it's over your head anyways. Oh. Way over. Oh. <laughs> uh, Governor, <laughs> do you know what you get when you cross a weeping willow and a UFO? Nope. A crying saucer! <laughs> yeah, that was... Let us continue. I like it. Frankly, this... Kind of story reminds me of a cousin of mine whose name is Jerry. He was always late making excuses. And one time his boss said, hey, Jerry, how about a good excuse for a change? So my cousin said, well, everything went wrong this morning. My wife decided to drive me here, so she got ready in just 10 minutes. But we got stuck at the drawbridge. I jumped out, swam across the river, ran to the airport, hired a helicopter, and flew here. His boss said, hey, you're going to have to do better than that, Jerry. No woman can get ready in 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, some people in Ohio are petitioning to drop the name of Columbus, Ohio, because the famous explorer is not politically correct, and they want to rename the city Flavortown after local native and TV chef Guy Fieri. Uh, not kidding. So far, 8,000 people have swallowed this idea. But chew on this, not only is Guy Fieri white, he's Italian, just like Columbus. <laughs> and besides, has anyone checked to make sure that he never sent some ill-conceived tweet 10 years ago? 
I mean, if the Columbus haters were really serious, they'd petition to ban Italian food from America. But that ain't gonna happen over my dead pasta-fed body. Not gonna happen. <laughs> Governor, did, did I ever tell you about my movie idea for an Italian vampire? I don't think so. Uh, it never sold because there was no action, no romance, just this guy asking, what do you mean I can't have garlic? Do you know where I'm from? Hey, you know, Keith, Italian, uh, a, a, a lot of women have an issue with Columbus Day. You know why? Because ladies don't believe there ought to be a holiday celebrating the fact that a man on a trip wouldn't stop when he was lost and ask for directions. <laughs> okay, back to Ohio. <laughs> Perhaps the complainer should rename Columbus in honor of another local native like Miami Vice star Philip Michael Thomas. He's fashionable, he's African-American, and who wouldn't rather live in Miami North than Columbus, Ohio? And while we're at it, maybe we ought to rename America Machiavania after Charles Mackey. He wrote Extraordinary Popular Delusions and the Madness of Crowds, first published study of mass hysteria. And a Delaware woman's doorbell camera footage showed an Amazon delivery driver complying with her son's additional instructions for delivery, you know, that you can put on your Amazon delivery. It was to shout abracadabra and running away fast. <laughs> no. I like it. That's right. No. The mom, Lynn Steffieri, said that her 13-year-old son, Jacob, ordered a package from Amazon and left a message for the driver in the section of the order that said, <laughs> do we need any additional instructions to find the address? So here's what the 13-year-old put on there. No, but knock on the door three times and scream abracadabra as loud as you can and run super fast away, the boy wrote on the instructions. The doorbell camera footage shows the delivery person delivering the package as requested. Watch. Abracadabra! Yeah! <laughs> after, after seeing the camera footage herself, Staffieri wrote in a Facebook post, Thank you to this great Amazon delivery woman. It made us smile, even though my son should not have done that, so I apologize for that. <laughs> well, I hope young Jacob enjoyed his purchase, and I also hope that Amazon delivery person gets a little something special from her managers. She certainly earned it. Finally, with all the terrible vandalism that's been happening to the statues around our country, we wondered what it might look like if the statues started to defend themselves. Mm. It might look like this. Uh-huh. Hmm. Or maybe this. Oh. <laughs> or this swinging statue. Ooh. Hmm. Are definitely these guys turning a fellow into a human anvil. Ooh. Yeah, he won't mess with that statue again. <laughs> well, while we're enjoying the fun spirit and photos of people, let's all hope that people stop destroying public property so it's all still there to take some memorable photos like the ones we just saw. Well, just like Wile E. Coyote in a Roadrunner cartoon, we run out of time. But always remember, we read the news. Now, if you're seeing this, I know you've enjoyed that video. I mean, how could you not after all? So you know what you should do? Leave a like, click on the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell next to it so you'll always know when I have another video up for you to enjoy.